Hello and welcome to round two of the Two Counties Clark Club Championship. We're at Forest Edge Clark Club on the 2nd of July 2023 and the Formula Blues are headed to the grid for their final this afternoon. 11 minutes plus a lap of action in store so plenty of racing yet to be done. In the championship heading into this round it's the O-plate Dave Watts leading the way. One point ahead of Joe Foster with Anthony Cleal, Paul Alexander and Steve Groves all even on seven points apiece for third, fourth and fifth. Kieran Quirk comes next out of Robin Stoddart Stones with Max Gunter, Rob Mortimer and Kevin O'Neill in another three-way tie to round out the top ten. Chris Underhill is 11th out of Paul Wheeler with Stuart Adam, Nigel Vickery and John Hartshorn completing the top 15. In the blue Masters standings up next it's going to be Joey Foster leading the way on four points. Once again ahead of a three-way tie between Anthony Cleal, Paul Alexander and Steve Groves with Robin Stoddart Stones completing the top five. Rob Mortimer and Kevin O'Neill tied once again for 6th and 7th head of Chris Underhill. Paul Wheeler is 9th and Stuart Adam is going to be completing the top 10. Nigel Vickery is 11th head of John Hartshorn with Alex Fortune and Chris Lord rounding out the people who have started their season so far. In the Blue Veterans it's number 9 Paul Alexander leading the way ahead of Anthony Cleal and Steve Groves. Robin Stoddart Stones is in 4th and Rob Mortimer and Kevin O'Neill once again even on points in 5th and 6th. Paul Wheeler comes next out of Chris Underhill, Nigel Vickery and John Hartshorn completes the top 10. In the Blue Legend standings it's Robin Stoddart Stones with a perfect score from Play Pigeon leading the way. Kevin O'Neill is in second with Chris Underhill, J John Hartshorn and Chris Lord completing the top 5. In the Blue Top Weights it's another perfect score this time from Paul Alexander leading the way with Rob Mortimer and Stuart Adam second and third. In the three heats today so far we had heat one in the books, Stuart Gray took the victory ahead of Dave Watts coming from quite far down owing to a late entry. Joey Foster is third ahead of Anthony Cleal and Paul Alexander is going to complete the top five. Steve Grove six ahead of Mike Bell, Robin Stoddart Sloan's Max Gunter and Harry Smithson is going to round out the top ten. Heat two was won by Joey Foster from pole position, this time ahead of Stuart Gray. Dave Watts once again coming through from the back to finish in third place. Paul Alexander fourth ahead of Harry Smithson. Anthony Cleal sixth ahead of Mike Bell. Kevin O'Neill, Nigel Vickery and David Waldron this time completing the top ten. And in the third and final heat of the day, Harry Smithson would take the lead from pole position and hold it until the end. Anthony Cleal finishes second ahead of Steve Groves and Paul Alexander with Mike Bell fifth. Dave Watts in behind ahead of Kevin O'Neill, David Walden, Joe Foster and David Good completing the top 10. Those three heats would combine to set the grid for the final here this afternoon and we are on board with the O-plate. Dave Watts leading us round. We're going to go round for another short rolling lap. Joe Foster alongside us in the number 66, the Black Mac Minarelli. On row two is Anthony Cleal and Paul Alexander switching to a Tony Cup for this round. Stuart Gray fifth ahead of Harry Smithson with Mike Bell and Steve Groves on row four. Kevin O'Neill and David Waldron are going to round out the top 10 ahead of Nigel Vickery, Robin Stoddart Stones, David Good, Rob Mortimer, Max Gunter and Mitch Carpenter on row 8 and Alfie Lenton is going to be rounding out the grid in his barrel. As the pack heads now down towards Winger's dip, Dave Watts and Joey Foster starting to back the pace up nice and early into their 2x2 two -two formation. You see Cleal and Paul Alexander right up on their tails. Nobody really wanting to leave a gap as the pack heads down towards the bus stop and the cut through. And then we will be under starter's orders. No hands in the air. Looks like we are going green this time by as through the cut through we go. Keep an eye on the lights and the lights are right and away we go. And it's Dave Watts just getting a start ahead of Joe Foster. And Foster hits the curb, loses the momentum. And it's Watts clearing the lead from Foster. Cleal. Paul Alexander is running wide. Through goes Stuart Gray. Harry Smith and the Mike Bell all challenging there. Side by side further back is Max Gunter and David Good as we hop on board with Mitch Carpenter. But down to Winger's dip for the first time. Watt still leads in the top five starting to break away. Max Gunter there slotting up the inside of Rob Mortimer as the leaders head into the bus stop. Still plenty of side by sides there. David Good looking at Mortimer as well further back. But up through midgets. Watts leads from Foster, Cleal, Gray and Smithson. As a gap starting to open up in front of Paul Alexander now as we hop on board with Rob Mortimer. Max Gunter ahead of us looking all over the back of Nigel Vickery now, so a good early start for Gunter. Vickery himself looking at Kevin O'Neill as they cross the line to finish the first lap. And round Johnny's for the second time of asking. Watts leading from Foster, Cleal, Gray and Smithson. And the top five, you can see there the gap opening up already. 
as they're heading off up the track as the rest of the pack now through Winger's Dip and up through Anson's. We're on board now with Mitch Carpenter, number 13 ahead of us is David Good and Carpenter's got the run into the bus stop and Mitch Carpenter makes the place and Alfie Lenton gets a good run on the way out so Lenton now attacking David Good as the leaders head round through Climate and down in towards Tollies. Dave Watts starting to open up a gap out at the front. Stuart Gray desperately looking for a way up alongside Anthony Cleal, but it's not going to happen there as through the Haynes loop they go. The red speed on the tail of the Mac. Then there's Alexander in a bit of no man's land and Steve Groves attacking Mike Bell. So that's the Cosmic battling the Octane. As down towards Winger's dip they go. David Waldron in behind Groves in the second of the Octanes. Then comes Robin Stark Stones. And that's Alfie Lenton making the move on David Good further back. But up to midgets. Joe Foster now under pressure from Anthony Cleon. And that's Steve Groves going slowly and a hand up in the air. Kevin O'Neill goes by and Groves is grinding to a halt it looks like. So a problem there for the Cosmic. And that's going to be his race over. But the action doesn't stop as we hop back on board with Max Gunter. Nigel Vickery ahead of us putting pressure on Kevin O'Neill and O'Neill heading off after Robin Stoddart Stones as Joey Foster now has Anthony Cleal and Stuart Gray all over him Vickery attacking O'Neill down at Winger's Dip there that's Harry Smithson having a look at Stuart Gray as he hopped back on board with Max Gunter Nigel Vickery ahead of us in the number 7 looking to put the pressure on Kevin O'Neill as we jump back on board with Mitch Carpenter once again he's going to get the run on Rob Mortimer down the inside to the bus stop there was a yellow flag out but I think Carpenter got his nose in front just before it that'll be one for the marshals to sort out as across the line we go eight minutes left on the clock and Dave Watts starting to build a gap up against Joey Foster Anthony Cleal, Stuart Gray and Harry Smithson all bumper to bumper as Carpenter's gonna slide wide through Tollies and Rob Mortimer gets up the inside and there's the proof Mortimer back ahead of Mitch Carpenter Alfie Lenton now right on their bumper, David Good as well likewise as the pack now into the bus stop the battle for second looks like Foster hit the curb Stuart Gray looking up the inside of Anthony Cleal but Cleal sl slams the door further back that's Mitch Carpenter once again up the inside of Rob Mortimer into the bus stop good move from Carpenter he's clearly got the poke up through Anson's as the battle for second crosses the line once again 7 minutes 20 on the clock and Stuart Gray goes for the inside and Stuart Gray makes the move for third against Anthony Cleal so the Scotsman gains a place and Anthony Cleal now has Harry Smithson in the Praga all over him further back there's the second Praga Max Gunter on the back of Nigel Vickery and Kevin O'Neill and then Mitch Carpenter ahead of Rob Mortimer still and that's Vickery down the inside of Kevin O'Neill as we hop back on board with Max Gunter O'Neill back up alongside but he's got no drive Gunter's going to go through against O'Neill and Vickery's going to outbreak himself into the chicane so this battle's still on up the hill and that is Kevin O'Neill really slowing in the background you can see there with the orange helmet meanwhile Stuart Gray is up to second he's past Joey Foster so now what can Gray do about Dave Watts as Mitch Carpenter goes past Kevin O'Neill and through goes the rest of the pack O'Neill must be touring that back in so a problem for the number 18 but the race carries on. Mike Bell now under pressure from David Waldron. Nigel Vickery being attacked by Max Gunter there in the blue. And further back, Mitch Carpenter, Rob Mortimer and Alfie Lenton in battle. David Good in there as well. He's back on board with Gunter. He's got the run out against Nigel Vickery. Vickery goes for the carb adjustment. Down into the bus stop. Max Gunter up the inside, clips the curb. And Gunter in the Praga makes the move. Just up the track from that group. Bell, Waldron and Stark Stones in battle. Further back now that's Alfie Lenton getting the run up the hill and he's going to get past Rob Mortimer. Mortimer looking for the switch back though so that fight not over yet. As into the Haynes loop. That's David Waldron in the green suit on the back of Mike Bell. Robin Stark Stones in behind them as well. So these three going into battle. He's down the hill towards Winger's dip we go. It looks like Bell is struggling. Waldron all over the back of him, Stark Stones likewise. The round midgets goes the battle for third. Joey Foster hanging on against Anthony Cleal and Harry Smithson. There's Bell, Waldron and Stark Stones, that group of three. And then in behind Max Gunter starting to put a bit of a gap into Nigel Vickery. So now we're on board with Bell going round climate. He's going to run wide and that's David Waldron. He's going to go round the outside in tollies. Bell over the curb. Waldron with the drive out and exit. Fantastic move from the number five. 
Now into the Haynes loop. That's up the inside. That's Robin Stoddart Stones. And Stoddart Stones is going to run wide. Bell's going to get back alongside. But Stoddart Stones has the inside through Johnny's. So both carts five and six making up a place there against Mike Bell. Down the hill towards Winger's Dip they go. There's the battle for the lead. Coming down Stuart Gray. Closing that gap. In behind Foster. Still holding off Cleal and Smithson. And now back down the hill, that looks like David Good looking at a move up the inside of Rob Mortimer. Nothing doing there though. Now around into the Haynes loop once again. The battle for third place now. Foster, Cleal and Smithson in that order. Three of the championship protagonists in the blue challenge. And Harry Smithson down the inside of Anthony Cleal. Smithson up to fourth. And now what can he do about Joey Foster? And can Anthony Cleal come back at them? Just up the track there, that's Dave Watts, and you can see visibly Stuart Gray is getting closer. And Harry Smithson already all over the bumper of Joey Foster, that's for third place. Down the hill and across the line goes the battle for the lead. And then third place, Foster ahead of Harry Smithson still, as they go into the Haynes loop. Smithson in the Praga all over the back of Foster's mech. Meanwhile, further back, Stoddart Stones attacking David Waldron. And down into Winger's Dip once again. Harry Smithson up the inside of Joe Foster, and he's going to make the move for third. Good move there from Smithson as they head up towards the bus stop. Meanwhile, down to Winger's Dip, that's Robin Stoddart Stones making the move on David Waldron, but he's going to run wide. Waldron switches back underneath. No sweat there for Waldron, keeps his position. Meanwhile, Stuart Gray now within two cart lengths of David Watts as they cross the line. And that's Anthony Cleal passing Joey Foster for fourth further back. So all is changing in that battle for third, fourth and fifth. Meanwhile, Alfie Lenton stalking Mitch Carpenter. He's trying to size him up for an overtake. Likewise, David Good and Rob Mortimer as we head on board with Mortimer as we go round climate down into Tollies. And Carpenter's going to run wide. Lenton's going to slide as well. And they're going to be wheel to wheel across the line. But Alfie Lenton's going to get in front. Mitch Carpenter has to slot in behind and Rob Mortimer and David Good getting ever closer to these two as they head round through Johnny's. Meanwhile up into the bus stop, Waldron, Stark Stones, Bell, they're getting closed in on by Nigel Vickery and Max Gunter but for the lead Stuart Gray is right on the back bumper of David Waldron. The O plate versus the number 14, the Scotsman. And now we hop on board with Mitch Carpenter, he's tracking Alfie Lenton not letting the number 33 get out of his sights as they head along down towards climate there's the battle for third starting to spread out a bit through Winger's dip but now we hop on board with the O plate Dave Watts through the bus stop Watts looking over his shoulder he can sense that Stuart Gray's there and the Scotsman on the attack down into Winger's dip there Nigel Vickery coming back at Max Gunter and there's the the battle for 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th going through the bus stop. Back on board with Watts though. Stuart Gray looking to the outside. Could be looking to try and get a switch back. Nothing doing there though, but definitely Stuart Gray is looking to be the aggressor in this battle. Alfie Lenton there pulling away from Mitch Carpenter. Rob Mortimer and David Good still in close contact with each other. As we hop back on board with Watts once again. You can see Stuart Gray's back bumper peeking out. Watts looking over his shoulder, but he looks the wrong way. Stuart Gray creeping up on the outside, looking to get the run. And that's Nigel Vickery getting the run on Max Gunter down the inside into Winger's Dip. Gunter looking to try and get back up alongside. Nothing doing. Good move from Vickery. Less than a minute on the clock now, though, for the leaders. And Dave Watts having to run a really defensive line into the Haynes loop. Stuart Gray all over the back of him. There's Vickery and Gunter still battling away. Down to Winger's dip once again though. Stuart Gray all over the back bumper of Dave Watts and Watts going to have to defend on the way up to the bus stop. Just about staying in front as they keep going up the hill towards Midgets. This is where Gray looks to be quite strong. Looking to try and set Watts up for a run down this top straight and sure enough Stuart Gray up the inside on the way to climb it and he's going to Hang on in there, Stuart Gray gets his nose in front, but he doesn't clear Dave Watts. He's got to go the long way round. Doesn't do it, switches back to the inside, crosses the line. Six seconds left, so there'll be two laps to go of this race. Can the O-plate hold on, or will the Scotsman manage to get past him? 
Harry Smithson's taking chunks out of them behind, but it might be too little too late. Back on board with Watts once again, down into Winger's dip. Stuart Gray looking every which way to try and get around him. There is Mitch Carpenter still pulling away from Rob Mortimer and David Good. And up the hill goes the O plate. Running out on a wide line this time. Not looking to let Gray get a run on him. But Stuart Gray still tucks in behind. Back on board with Rob Mortimer. No. Battles all up and down the pack. Mitch Carpenter is sliding wide. Will that give the number 42 an opportunity? I don't know, but the leaders have taken the last lap board. And that is Dave Watts heavily defending into the Haynes loop. Stuart Gray no way through there as they head round through the kink in front of the grandstand. Watts looking over his shoulder all the time. You can tell he knows that Gray's a threat as they go through Winger's dip. There's Smithson getting ever closer. Watts defending into the bus stop. No way through there for Stuart Gray, but Gray gets a better run out. And Watts is going to defend up the hill towards Midgets. Gray's going to sweep back out on a wide line and get the exit. And sure enough, there he is up the inside for Climate. He's done this once before, and this time he makes the move. Stuart Gray on the final lap down into Tolly's. Can he hold it? He's going to run wide, but he's going to get the race win. Stuart Gray makes the last lap pass to take the win ahead of the O plate. Dave Watts. Fantastic charge through. There's Harry Smithson in third place. Anthony Cleo fourth, and Joey Foster makes up the top five. You can see the top five having checked out a bit. Further back, David Waldron's going to hold off Robin Stoddart Stones. Nigel Vickery's going to distance Max Gunter and almost catch Mike Bell in the process. And looking back to this battle, Mitch Carpenter, Rob Mortimer, and David Good have started to spread out a bit as they head towards the final corner. Round Tollies for the last time and across the line, and that is going to complete the final for the Formula Blues this afternoon at Forest Edge. What a race that was. As the carts head into the pit lane and through scrutineering. There's more to more, and David Good is going to round out the finishers on track. But that's not where the drama ends, though, as Dave Watts would be declared the race winner ahead of Harry Smithson and Anthony Cleal. Stuart Gray on the receiving end of a five-second penalty for a drop nose is going to drop him down to fourth. Joey Foster is going to round out the top five ahead of Paul Alexander and David Waldron. Robin Stoddart Stone is going to finish 8th ahead of Mike Bell and Nigel Vickery is going to round out the top 10 ahead of Max Gunter and Alfie Lenton coming up from the back. Mitch Carpenter 13th ahead of Rob Mortimer and David Good with Kevin O'Neill and Steve Groves both finishing their races early so unfortunate for the two of them. What that will do to the championship standings well it's going to confirm that Dave Watts is in the lead and he's going to extend his gap. Joey Foster is still going to be second this time Anthony Cleal is going to move into a tie break. Paul Alexander and Steve Groves are going to round out the top five ahead of Harry Smithson and Kieran Quirk. Stuart Gray is going to move up to eighth ahead of Robin Stoddart Stones and Mike Bell, with David Waldron in 11th ahead of Kevin O'Neill, Max Gunter, Rob Mortimer, and Nigel Vickery to complete the top 15. Ahead of Chris Underhill, Paul Wheeler, Stuart Adam, David Good, and Mitch Carpenter to round out the top 20 heading out of this round. In the blue Masters standings, it's going to be Anthony Cleal heading to the top of the table. A point ahead of Joey Foster. Paul Alexander and Steve Groves even on five points apiece. And Stuart Gray is going to round out the top five. Robin Stoddart Stone's in sixth ahead of David Baldwin and Kevin O'Neill. With Rob Mortimer and Nigel Vickery completing the top ten. Chris Underhill comes next ahead of Paul Wheeler, David Good and Stuart Adam. In the blue veteran standings, Anthony Cleal with a perfect score is going to jump to the top of the table. Paul Alexander is going to slip to second ahead of Steve Groves. Stuart Gray is going to jump to fourth ahead of Robin Stoddart Stones to complete the top five. David Waldron comes next ahead of Kevin O'Neill, Rob Mortimer, Nigel Vickery and Paul Wheeler is going to be running out the top ten. In the Blue Legend standings, Robin Stoddart Stones is going to keep the lead of the championship by virtue of drop option. Stuart Gray is going to eat, tie him on points ahead of Kevin O'Neill. And in the blue top weights, it's Paul Alexander going to be continuing with a perfect season ahead of Rob Mortimer, David Waldron and Stuart Adam. That's going to be all for today from Forest Edge Kart Club. We will leave you in the hands of Rob Dodds for the podium ceremony. And we will see you next time back at Forest Edge for round three of the Two Counties Kart Club Championship. We will see you then. Goodbye.
right down here and zoom in.